right 3.5 3.5 which is the last question and question 3 is looking at the variances the budgeted and the actual figures for November 2021 are provided comment on the control over the fuel for the delivery vehicles and the consumable stores used for repairs code figures we want to comment on the control over fuel for the delivery vehicles. Let's start with fuel. Fuel. Let's look at the answer sheet and check. Oh, good. This 3.5. Okay, yeah, it's just a comment. Fuel and for delivery vehicle, just we are required just to comment. It's fuel for delivery. We have a table like this in the answer sheet. This is how the answer sheet looks like. It's, there is fuel for delivery vehicle. And then we also have consumable stores for repairs. Consumable stores for this is how the answer sheet looks like. So we are required to comment on the cash and credit sales figures for November 2021. Explain why Brian is concerned. Quotes figures. Oh, 3.5. The budgeted and the actual figures for November 2021 are provided. Comment on the control over fuel for the delivery vehicle and the consumable stores used for repairs. So let's just look at this and express it in terms of a percentage. Because the fuel for leased delivery vehicle is 20,800 and the total sales is seven. We want to know how much was budgeted, the percentage of fuel that was budgeted as, as opposed to sales. So let's look at the sales. The fuel budgeted is 20,800. We budgeted 20,800 for fuel and then we're expecting that we are going to sell for 798,000. 798,000. We want to look at the percentage of fuel budgeted against our sales. So we budgeted 28,800 and then we were expecting to sell for 798,000 divided by 798,000 times 100. 2.6%. So we budgeted 2.6%. The budget for uh, fuel was 2.6% of the total sales. But the actual, this is the budget. But the actual, the actual, if you look at the actual amount that was spent, it is 19,900. If you look at the total sales there, it is 707,000. Let's look at the actual percentage. 19,900 divided by 707,000 times 100. That's 2.8%. So you can see that the actual, if you look at it, it's very important that we need to express it in terms of a percentage because you can think that if you look at the 20,800 budgeted and the 19,900 actual, that uh, this uh, expense is well controlled. But if you express this in terms of a percentage, because this uh, fuel is spent when delivering, and this is as a result of sales, so this must be compared to sales. So the budget was 2.6% of the total sales for fuel, but the actual amount spent was 2.8% of the total sales because delivery is, is when we are delivering goods that are sold. So therefore we can say that fuel is not well controlled.
the fuel is not well controlled because now we are over the budget. It's 2.6% which was budgeted, but the actual amount that was spent is 2.8%. But we look, if you look at it in terms of the figures, you can think that it is well controlled. So it is very important that you need to compare because the goods that are being delivered are the goods that are sold. So there, has, there, has, there is that relationship between the fuel amount that has been spent uh, to our total sales. Same thing with the consumable stores for repairs. The consumable stores for repairs must be compared to the fee income. How much are we getting out of the repairs? The consumable stores, the amount of, oh, that we spent on consumable stores, like for example, the budget was that 8,000 consumable stores will be spent to get a fee income of 32,000 times 100. Let's look at it in terms of a percentage. And then the actual, the actual was 12,100 consumable stores for repairs with a fee income of 66,000. We spent 12,100 and we got 66,000. Let's express it in terms of a percentage. Let's look at our budget. The consumable stores that we have budgeted to use to get the fee income of 32,000, that is 8,000 over 32,000 times 100. So it was 25%. But the actual is 12,100 divided by 66,000 times 100. The actual is 18%. 18.3%. So this is well controlled. Consumable stores are well controlled. We can safely say that the consumable stores have been well controlled because we had budgeted that we are going to spend 25% of the consumable stores, 25% of the fee income. For us to get the fee income of 32,000, we were going to spend 8,000 for consumable stores, which is 25% of 32,000. But we were able to get 66,000 fee income, having spent only 12,100 on consumable stores, which is less than what we expected. We expected to spend on consumable 25% of the fee income, but we have only spent 18.3% of the fee income. So we can safely say that consumable stores have been well controlled. So it's very important to check this thoroughly because if you look at the 8,000, if you are just comparing the two amounts only, the consumable stores, you can think that you purchased 8,000 and ended up spending 12,100. So you are over the budget. So it means that you are overspending, of which is not the case because this overspending is justified by the fee income that you have received because you had thought you would get only 32,000 but the fee income that we have received is 66,000. So then this increase in consumable stores is then justifiable. Then if you express it in terms of a percentage then it becomes even more clear that we were expecting to spend 25% but only 18.3% was spent. So this is well controlled. This then brings us to an end of question three, which was based on budgeting. So it is advisable that students need to practice and practice accounting activities for them to get used to questions in the papers. You will notice that if you do quite a lot of papers, you get used to the way, to the questioning in the exam and therefore it becomes easy when you are confronted with these questions in the exam and you end up doing very, very well. So thank you very much. This brings us to an end of question three.